All right, man, we got a real controversial video right here. This is 2022, this this year. We got 10 things I hate about living in Sweden, you feel me? This should be an interesting video to react to. So if you like this type of videos, hit that subscribe button. Shout out Fish Slape, you feel me? The Fish Slape. If you want to dag and watch the video on your own, go ahead and watch him. He got 12K subs, man. That's going to get him to 100K. You feel me? So we're going to go ahead and wrap this video. This should be very informative. I was thinking about moving to Sweden, you feel me? But I doubt it. I don't know yet. But without further ado, let's get into the video. I made a simply incredible video about 10 reasons why I like living here in Sweden. But then I thought, fuck it. I mean, the internet is way too, it's filled with way too many positive things as it is. So I thought I'd make another video uh, explaining, you know, talking about 10 reasons I really hate living in this fucking country. <laughs> I'm dead, what the? Between about October and March, most of Sweden for most of the time is covered in complete soul-crushing darkness. The sun just don't show up during six months of the year, you know. Swedish summers are fine. That's not too Stockholm bad. is lovely when the sun is out, you know. But this doesn't make up for the months of depressing shit that's being pushed down your throat during the winter months here, in my opinion. There's a reason Swedish people are known to just stand in the sun for a while during the spring. You know, every Swedish person is essentially a fucking Dark Souls character. Now, number two might have to, something to do with this darkness, um, because it's sort of... He don't, like, he don't like Sweden because it gets dark for six months? Sheesh, it don't like y'all got a lot of lights in there anyway though, for real, for real. I know, I ain't gonna lie. Well. <laughs> it's a very known cultural thing here in Sweden that Swedish people have this sort of ice cold barrier around themselves, you know, that is very difficult to crack socially. This does not apply for Swedes living abroad, interacting with other Swedes, or Swedes in Sweden interacting with foreigners. So, unless you're also a Swedish person watching this, this is like impossible for me to prove. <laughs> and if you are Swedish, then I always. Um, but yeah, there's something going on between Swedes, or rather there's nothing going on between Swedes. It's good in the sense that Swedish people have very high respect for people's, you know, personal space and stuff. Right. But, you know, r random interactions with sta strangers is a big fucking no-no. Most- What? Okay, so that sounds like New York. New York's the same way. In New York and America, like, or up north in general, people don't really talk to you unless they actually know you on some stuff, so... I guess y'all y'all know how to mind y'all business, but then again, it's good to dag on you new, meet your people and stuff like that, you feel me? It don't seem like you guys really like to, you know, um, try to get in, try and get into other people's business. Uh, that's the same thing with the wars I just reacted to like a couple minutes ago with y'all staying neutral and stuff like that. So I guess y'all really neutral people as a whole when it comes to like socializing with one another, which is fine. Which is cool, you feel me? But sometimes you gotta go out there, explore, meet new people, you feel me? Cause you never know who you, you, the person that you might meet, you feel me, might might be on the same stuff you you on. You might be on the same journey as you, and now you got somebody you can tag along with, you feel me? But I mean, I understand y'all not being friendly though. I mean, it's it's, it's respectable. People would rather run a cheese grater along their gooch than have. <laughs> the nah, this dude wildin'. Hold up, what, my guy? is a big fucking no no most swedish people would rather run a cheese grater along their gooch than have eye contact with a stranger on the tube you know next one is <laughs> fucking tiny and there's gonna be like lots of unfair stuff in this video but fuck it <laughs> it can't help it but you know size matters to me it's obviously all relative i mean my penis is way bigger than a thimble if you come from a town with a population smaller than the this dude crazy this channel Hey, y'all go subscribe to my dog, bro. I like his humor. Hey, y'all go subscribe to the the Flash Slapes, man. Hey, y'all go subscribe to my boy, man. This man funny. I like I like his humor, bro. All right, let's go and get into it. Then uh, Stockholm might seem like a big city to you. Having lived in London and Tokyo, though, I don't think it is. I feel that big cities are the most open-minded areas. You're surrounded by so many fucking people that it's impossible to feel alienated or out of place because there's always going to be someone who's even weirder than you are, you know. So, for instance, <laughs> if I wanted to roll down the, a high street in London on, you know, roller skates dressed as a banana with a jukebox playing the Swedish national anthem shouting about how much I love my toast just right, then people wouldn't look at me twice. They've most likely seen something even weirder just like the same earlier the same morning. If I did the same thing on Drottninggatan, however, I would be on the local news for the next month. The number four on this list is connected to this. There are pretty much no 24-7 corner shops 
here in Stockholm. This sucks the anus. One of the things I missed the most. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is wrong with bro? In both London and Tokyo is that you could just pop down the corner at any time during the day and then buy whatever you need. This probably has to do with the sort of excellent- They got a 7-Eleven in Tokyo? And conditions here in Sweden. We don't want to force people to work awkward hours too much, but still, I do miss being pissed drunk and being able to buy some Reese's from the poor underpaid guy on the corner, you know. Or to go there to top up on some beer and wine for the party in the fucking park, which brings me to the next point. Jesus fucking system will log it, number five. This is number five? Yes. Now, the idea behind Sistian Bulagit is a good one, I suppose. But fuck me, it sucks. For those of you who don't know, it is not possible in Sweden to buy alcohol from regular shops like you can in pretty much every other country around right. the world. You can only buy alcohol stronger than 3.5% at a licensed pub or restaurant or at Sistian Bulagit, which is the state-owned company uh, with complete monopoly on this shit. This is as mm. close as we are to the socialist nightmare here, you know. So let's say, for instance, that me and my partner are in bed after some steaming hot sex and we both crave a post-anal white Russian, you know. Then my brother can't simply pop down to the corner shop and buy some Kalua. We have to wait to the next day when Sustian Bulagit opens. Well, maybe maybe if you get it, maybe if you know you're about to get some cheeks, you feel me, and then you go ahead and get it, get it before she come over, you feel me, and then dad gonna get, get the wine, get whatever you want, and then dad gonna, you feel me, have it in the, in the freezer, already ready to be prepped up with and stuff like that, and then bam, you feel me, you, you, you got, you got a drink right there, you feel me, instead of waiting the, the exact same day, the exact same night, and then after y'all have sex, you feel me, y'all want alcohol after that, I mean, nobody does that, you feel me, nobody does that. It's a Sunday, because it's fucking close on Sundays. Mm. This sucks. Now, I might have I think it's, I think our, I think our alcohol ABC stores are closed on Sundays too. With, you know, the reference to me and my brother having some sexy time. But let me bring you back to the moist side. <laughs> by bringing up the Swedish housing market. Mm. This shit is frustrating to the tits, you know. I slipped into this rental flat in central Stockholm on the biggest fucking rackmacka you can imagine, you know. Most <laughs> people my age either live outside the city or have incredibly rich fucking parents who have bought a, an apartment for them, you know. And if you want a bigger apartment than this one in this part of town, you will literally have to wait about 50 plus years <laughs> to get one. I went on a walk 50 plus dad. years is crazy though. But we're gonna go and start a video right there, man. Uh, you guys subscribe uh, for my boy Fly, whatever the freak that boy name is man fit the fish the fish slap a man y'all go ahead and hit the subscribe button for him man we're gonna finish this video in a part two you feel me so y'all go ahead and stay tuned for that man more videos will be on the way you feel me video not over just yet so let's go ahead and dag on we're gonna wrap this one up right here man appreciate y'all watching the video man and yeah we go we go man gang yeah, this hit y'all hit y'all my viral though, you feel me? Two hundred thousand views, man. That's that's pretty good. Alright, we gone though, man. Appreciate watching the video, man. We gone. Okay.